Hey guys, Vass from X Force again with Dan from Ozgel. <laughs> what you doing? I was going to get it. I was going to get it one time, Dan. <laughs> uh, you've changed a little. Yeah. You've slimmed down. Ooh, Sorry, thank Dan. you. Uh, all right, so today we're having a look at another batch of our AK uh, double bell range. It's more uh, the shorty version, so 74Us and stuff. Yeah. So the shorties, we'll, we'll figure it. We've got to give some to the shorties. We've done yeah. our. Uh, original uh, one, so well, we've got your favorites now. We're moving on to mine. So, so but a lot of people do like well, you see here as well, yeah. So, the good thing with the 74 U's, you can use them in your outdoor standard outdoor mm. sort of scenarios, but you can't, you've got that option of the folding stock, yep. and you can go indoor uh, very CQB. Now, we've kind of mixed them up a little bit because there's a yep. couple of them that are short, er. Uh, plus the 74U, so we've got two of them here that are 74U. Yeah. Then we've got the RK Ames. This uh, is the shortest out. Yep. Yeah. And then we've got an AK that's kind of a shorty anyway. Um, so some of these are um, what's that brand? Zenico. Now. Zen Zentico or whatever. Um, now this this is sort of a bit of a knockoff on the Zentico, Zenico, yeah. um, who are uh, uh, a manufacturer of weapons upgrade parts and flashlights and stuff. Yeah, in Russia. So, in Russia. so this is kind of goes down the path of more like special forces stuff. So anyway, let's have a look at this uh, beautiful blaster. This is yeah, kind of tough. I think micro corner of the Tarkov version. So a lot of these. Um, we, now what have we got? I'll pull that, pull that out. And that. So you get your mag. You've got your metal flash hider, so you can with change. Uh, yeah, with the hop up, you can change that nice looking orange. Uh, actually, gives you a. Charge handle. Charge handle. Different, so you don't have to have the curved one, it's more of a knurled look. Oh, which can looks you change dope. that? Yeah. Alright. You put so, it over it and grab screw it. Oh, yeah, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. True. There you go, that'll be cool. Yeah, nice. So, put over the, yeah, a nice chunky uh, handle plus um, the CNC grip. grip, angle cut grip, or full grip for your. Uh, Picatinny under here, um, but that all goes in there. Now, as you can see, this is not your sort of traditional in the sense that you know you've got your wood up here, but then under here you've got the metal handguard with your Picatinny rail, um, which is where it gets the name from because that's what the Sentico yeah. company actually did as a upgrade. Yeah. So, so that's more cool. Yeah, very nice. Well, I mean, at the end of the day, one of my biggest issues with AK is you can't put much stuff on it. So voila, now you can. Yep. You can put your foregrip, you can put a flash hider, a, you know, flash peck box, light. whatever, you know. Um, you can sort of dress it up a little, which kind of makes it a little bit more cool. And Especially if you're playing games like um, Escape from Tarkov or Call of Duty and stuff, you can actually deck them out like you're doing a game, yeah. which is cool. That stock I really like. Yeah, the telescopic it just one is really nice. Looks cool. Actually, it just sounds. And it's cool because it's folding. Oh, look at that! Folds around. Very so nice. With your, your metal part here, you can still have optics mounted. Yeah. So. Nice. So, yeah, on the side here, you've got your rail, so you can have your uh, optics. Optics. Well, you've you're most likely going to put a rail, so it's yeah. You've rail got that on. rail system that comes over the top. Um, here and so then you mount you onto the Picatinny. Yeah. So. Um, yeah. So great thing with the AKs. I mean, as much as I don't like the banana mags, mm. they do normally hold more than your normal M4s. Yep. Um, and these are metal. Uh, the real wood's a really nice finish as well, yeah. right? And the wood on these things is beautiful. Very nicely finished indeed. Um, now, I know this is going to be a bit of a deal break for some. These don't come with a blowback, um, which saves you battery, um, 
and probably some headache down the track. Well, uh, it makes it more durable and reliable, but it yeah. also gives you more real retail space for your longer batteries and your bigger batteries. Yeah. Because so. stuff with your um, your RX AKMs, because Ooh. of the blowback, they're a real pain in the butt to get batteries in. So at least this not having it, less moving parts, you don't have a jackhammer inside your blast, so it will actually last longer which I think is cool, but some will disagree. And this one's quite easy, like, bang. Lamborghini doors. How good is that? Yeah, Lamborghini doors indeed. The thing I like about the, with the placement of the metal gearbox is actually have little uh, clasps onto it, so Double Bell have thought about that, so they actually have wires tucked away so you won't pinch keeps, and break wires. Just keeps it all nice and neat and then, inside yeah. there. You can stick your battery on top here. It's like a chip foose engine bay. And Bang, off you go. Like, it is just so simple and easy. Oh, it's brilliant. That's the end coach. Trust the, uh, well, <laughs> trust the Russians to think of it, but no, not quite. But, I mean, this is just a brilliant, simple uh, idea to, to, to store your battery. So, nice and easy, very solid, like, you know, um, even the mag, I mean, the mag's always going to have, it's, it's, it is an AK, but, you know, all the rest, like, this thing is just super, super, super solid, like, just beautiful, and it's got the right amount of weight, I mean, this one does have this, not my ideal sort of stock, but it is yep. still alright, very, uh, very sturdy, but it's got the right bit of weight to it. Yep. Let me fill that up. I reckon you're gonna oh, get yeah, that no, one. That yourself. one's got some weight, man. <laughs> that is, this thing's heavy. Yeah, it's nice. Like, compared to that, Ooh, that you ain't grub screw in. No, you did it. Um, yeah, no, yeah. that's got some serious weight for a little fella. Well, it's all metal, which is cool. Yeah, I'm gonna put that one down. All right, so let's pull this guys out now. So this is an AK uh, as such. So a shorter one. So you're, I don't know, what was that off? One or five sort of stock? Yeah. Um, so that's the polymer. Thing that I don't like about that stock is it folds and locks into the no. optics mount. Where the optics mount is. So button you press there, oh, yeah, and then folds in. Oh, that one. Yeah. These are brand new, so they are a little bit stiff. They're stiff. They're a bit stiffy, mate. But oh, that's nice and short now. Yeah. And then you got a, a button to actually release it, so it's like a little locking mechanism, which is cool. I know. It's just. I know that's that's for your. Uh, I don't know what that's for. <laughs> Extra battery. Yeah, I don't know. What you put in there. We possibly. learn as we film. That's right. But I mean the same deal here. Battery goes in there. You're done. Bang. Done. Off you go. And then that there is your your iron sight. Mm, so it's not your traditional iron sight. Which is got a few different. I don't know. Don't ask me. I'm new to this, um, <laughs> but no, very nice. Um, so that there, your handguard, both lower and upper, is polymer, and your stock. The rest, except obviously your grip, is polymer. So very. Very decent, not as heavy as that one. Thank yeah. God for that. Um, you suck. But, <laughs> but very sturdy, very nice. If you like that sort of look, uh, show a little bit of everything for you here. I'll show you the one I'm taking. This is, this is Scotty's favorite. This is my favorite. So, so he's, he likes this little, this one. little wire stock. Mangled up wire stock. Well, they say people look like their owners, so you know. <laughs> Still folds around, which is cool. Yeah. So I can fit that in my laptop bag for games and traveling purposes only. Yeah. Um, rail mounts. I have Picatinny on top, so it's all four, so it's on like a quad rail. Mm. So where this one has your wood, I can have Picatinny, so I can stick like an MRO. Uh huh. But I'll be chucking a uh, actually ordered um, a mount on there, so I can stick probably an MRO. Mm. I think. Um, I've got an O light. I plan on sticking on here and the little. Uh, metal grip. Yep. I've planned it out already. Nice. I was like, I'm well, taking that. I gotta admit, like, the wire stock doesn't really 
tickle my fancy. I'll paracord wrap that in. Anyway. But I do like that front. And it's that a, it's smaller than all the others, mm. but it's just nice and very perfect tactical, CQB little. Very, very solid looking. Mm. It is really solid. Like this thing just feels, yeah, feels like a tank at the front here. Um, really nice quality from Double Bell with these AKs, which is great. Yeah. So I haven't been, I haven't liked any AK scent uh, before. Yeah. Um, but yeah. I want this one, I want that one. Not a big fan so. of the AKs, like I said, but actually these tactical ones with a bit of Picatinny on there and, and just look a bit more just cool and... You can jewel wheel them, you, you can jewel wheel them. You're going to break your arms for a while, but yeah. Uh, they're quite heavy uh, for jewel wielding. Um, I'll stick to MP7s for that um, job. We've got those in the shop too. Yeah, we got those. But yeah, these feel really nice. It's a really good engagement and it's a solid engagement clicking mm. to auto and to semi and then back up to safe, but yeah. Very nice units. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm going to bring you guys a bit closer. You can have a look at these and then we'll go and uh, pop out, shoot them uh, off a couple of times to see how they uh, perform. Um, you will see from a previous video. Now, haven't been fired. I'll get that. <laughs> um, so they are very new. I mean, as new as they get, they're straight out of the box. Um, so sometimes it does take what I found. The first few shots, they're going to be a bit lower. I don't know. It might not always be the case. Still sink a mag into it. Yeah. You really need to get at least a mag or two through it, and then you'll see the numbers really come up. It's like so, a car, just bed it in. Yeah, yeah. Wear it in a little bit. All right, let me bring that camera in closer. Um, this doesn't feel too heavy. All right, we'll start off with, the, with your AK. And that one is the... Uh, that S one. Uh, one, zero, seven, zero, one. SLR. Two. One zero seven zero one two. So, nice little unit. Yep, they're a nice little unit. A little bit lighter, having a bit more polymer. Sturdy sort of uh, stock on it there. Then we've got that metal stock, folding stock, polymer grip, our metal mags, and then that. Uh, the Zentico. Zentico, sort of a lower tactical oh, yeah. uh, handguard. CNC, CNC cut out. Got very nice. I really like that. Mm, I like those nice. cutouts. And that nice wood finish on the top of the handguard. And of course, as I said, you can swap that ugly orange out. Yeah. It is just but ugly. See your charge All handle. Right. And then we've got that. Beautiful metal folding stock, telescopic. telescopic. Oh, that that like is that. really nice. Hand model. Yeah. Now Scott is a hand model today. Yeah. Um, and polymer grip, full metal body there. Again, with that beautiful CNC lower handguard. It's really sturdy too. And it's wood. nice and solid. Okay, and then the next one, the last but not least, the smallest in the collection. The smallest, eh, with that, that silly wire stock on it. <laughs> yeah, uh, I might this one's got one. the the one of the firewood. Yeah, Actually, let's see, see that in black would be cool. Yes, I do like. Well, I mean, probably would have should have been black because the whole thing's really black. And then so. that one should have been wood. Yeah, you can always swap them out. There's an echo. Uh, full metal, but yeah, this one's got that full. It does metal have the, guard, so. the CNC flash hider with hop up in it as well. Yeah, very nice. All right, let's go and shoot these puppies. <coughs> Hey guys, so back it out here with, at our range with this beautiful uh, 74U from Double Bell. Uh, I went with this adjustable stock, but it's Zenico inspired. Zenico inspired 
beautiful. It's not too heavy in the hand once you're standing up though, is it? Yeah. It feels a lot better. Once I'm up and I've got both, you know, hands on it and holding it, it's actually all right. It's quite nice. Very beautiful. <laughs> all right, so let's get some shots on this uh, puppy. And actually, let me get this right. Nice. Yeah, right, so. There's going to be a comment somewhere in the in the comment section going, you meant to go from underneath to hit the charging handle. No, oh, yeah, no, like... Yeah. Alright, so... Oh, oh, I haven't even done this one. <laughs> Alright. Yep, that's my boss. <laughs> got some odd numbers. I don't know because I've got a fair bit of uh, moisture. Leather gels that are under the end of the container as well. Yeah. This is sort of getting down to the bottom of the, the barrel. Now, uh, yeah. I'll show you this, but I can tell you we have better numbers. But well, that's shoot. around the 280 mark. 290. Um, I'll see if I can take you back a bit. So I need to. I don't know. No, it won't go any lower. So I had 300 before. So I don't know whether we try. I don't have many of those left, so. Try the X Force pinkies. I'll try some pinkies. So not an ultra hard like what we just were using, so results will vary from gel to gel, but... Yeah, they were AKs. He also doesn't know how long they've been in water or soaking for or how old they are, so... You should always keep it an idea of how old your gels are before going to a game. Yeah, we're in a shop here, nobody takes uh, notice of uh, what old... We do in my shop. Well... <laughs> Because they're smaller. Yeah. No. <laughs> I'm not even sure you know them, but... Uh, They'll fly pretty straight. They're shooting straight, but these are smaller gels. So, yeah. No, I'll definitely go with the AKs. Um, black Label's a landing when? Yep. Yeah. So our Black Label should be here in about... Well, I think next week, end of next week. That's from filming, so, and filming this, what, December 1? Yeah. So, December 8. Lands, so. So, another two weeks, hopefully we'll have them. Please, customers, be good for us. Yeah. But, I'll tell you guys, you've got to run about a mag, so we haven't quite run a decent mag or two through it. Uh, run some fresh AKs. You should get over 300. Run your pinks or whites if you want to lower it. If you're going to a field where it shoots a bit too hard, but I can tell you, these are pretty sweet. They um, feel great. I wouldn't really, I wouldn't really say so. I mean, the only thing that kills me is that at the moment, which mm. is doing my head in. But at least you know there's one in that box, so you can change it straight away. Uh, I hate orange, especially mm. fluorescent. Uh, <laughs> all right, so that is it. That's our double bell AK. Um, Shorty range. Shorty range. Uh, hope you guys like that. I do. Um, it's really growing on me, especially his tactical uh, Zenico. Zenico. Yep. Um, um, just the Gucci version, the really. Gucci just Gucci version. parts. Yeah. Very cool. Very tactical. Uh, anyways, hope that helps. Uh, please leave a comment below. Uh, we don't always do things perfect. We're a little bit raw around here. Uh, but we tell you the way it is. Hopefully you like that. Leave some comments. Follow us for some more videos that we're doing on the next batch. Um, remember, stop and think. Make sure you bag those puppies up. Take them to and from the field. And stay true to the game. We'll see you guys next time with some more goodies.